We definitely are living in an age of disposable footwear. The last I heard, there are about three-fifths as many shoe repair shops as there were back in the early 90s. Unfortunately, a lot of hiking boots are taken into shoe repair shops, and they're told those cannot be resold because that shoe repair shop can't resold them. I think one of the tricks to this business, my business, is getting through to those people and convince them, yes, those boots that you had all these wonderful adventures in can be repaired. Get them to us. I'm Dave Page. I'm a cobbler, and I'm based in Seattle. We're the world's largest repair of hiking and mountaineering boots. So they're shipped to us from all over the country. I've known Dave Page for at least 25 years. He's, he's the man. You think a boot or a shoe is completely done, he knows how to put life back into that boot. Dave was actually uh, a bit of a prolific mountaineer back in the day as well, so he's put up some first ascents in the Cascades. I was just hanging out climbing with some people, and I looked at my shoes and decided I needed to send them over to get them fixed. And this little light bulb went on over my head, presented an opportunity. When we started, hiking boots were a lot simpler than they are now. We got by with two or three models of soles. Now we stock something like 82 models of Vibram. And as newer and newer technologies of footwear were introduced, we had to adjust on how to repair them. And it's still evolving. Boot companies are still introducing models of boots that we have to adjust to. For a couple of years, I did this all out of the basement of my house. And then we moved into this shop about 27 or 28 years ago. I got a couple guys working for me that have been here for over 20 years. They're very skilled. They're the best. Forty years ago, I got my first pair of Vasques as a kid, and it's a brand I've been associated with since. Vasque was truly one of the first North American performance hiking and backpacking boots in the early to mid-60s, and stood the test of time and durability, releasing new models to attune to what North American and now the world wants for performance hiking and backpacking. I definitely have fast that have been put to the test and just will not die. Vast boots get used hard. There's a lot of people out there that love Vast boots. They use them a lot. They stick with the company. They buy new models when they come out. There's a lot of customer loyalty there. In the early 80s, they developed the Sundowner, a lightweight unit sold hiking boot. They've sold millions of them. We're still reselling them. And we're also reselling boots that we originally resold in the 70s and 80s. Some of these jobs are second and third resolings. The fact that we're resoling Vasque boots that are 20, 30 years old speaks to the quality of them and the care they're taking when they make them. I assume 20 years from now, we'll be resoling the ones they're making now. My love for the outdoors, it's my inner peace. I truly feel all humans need to spend time in the outdoors. People are happy with what we do. We, we keep their old favorite boots going. I think the reason we're a success is we turn out a really high quality product. We take care with what we do. We take pride in what we do. And we're good at what we do.